Well, ladies and gents, Nicholas Cage. I mean, he's Nicholas Cage, isn't he? He's a legend. Nick Cage. Come out and spoken about MCU <laughs> in the best way possible. <laughs> you read from the title. He literally came out and was like, I don't need to be in the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. <laughs> but we did like an uplifting, good, funny video uh, for you guys, which this is definitely that. <laughs> Cracked me up. I tweeted about it. Follow me over on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews. Oh, goodness me. It's very, very funny. Uh, it was actually part of a like a broader interview with Variety. And it, although they've they've clipped that one bit, he was actually, he was somewhat respect, you know, respectful here and there, you know, but it was still funny and he is Nick Cage and he kind of, he does blast them a little bit. So it's still funny nonetheless. We'll dive into it. Hit subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter. So... <laughs> <clears throat> um, Nick Cage, <laughs> God damn. Nick Nicholas Cage tells all uh, on Marvel. Tim Burton's emo Superman movie and more. I don't need to be in the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. Uh, you can just imagine him saying it as well. And he's in, in fairness, he's actually apparently a really humble, nice chap. I interviewed Richard Stanley, the director of uh, The Color Out of Space, and obviously Nicholas Cage was the lead in that. And he's apparently he's just a really nice guy to work with. Really nice chap. Really down to earth. Just a very pleasant individual. Which I can believe, if you've watched any interviews with him, he seems it. He does seem just like a normal nice guy. So, <clears throat> God, that's so funny. Uh, so Nicolas Cage is a man of many talents with an Academy Award. People, people forget he's an Oscar winner. A SAG Award and a Golden Globe. Um, and also recently, because he cops a lot of flack for really terrible films. Go watch Pig. Go watch Pig. I never watched the trailer and apparently the trailer is like, frames it as something it's not. So don't watch the trailer. Just watch the movie. Beautiful film. Uh, it reminds you why he's an Oscar winner. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> but anyway, the actor has taken on many different genres over the last four decades, which made him the perfect recipient of the Variety's Legend and Groundbreaker Award at Miami Film Festival. While accepting his award on Sunday night, Cage reflected on the numerous projects he's worked on, even those that never got made. Although he's dabbled in the world of superheroes, he's never actually been part of the cinematic universe, because he hasn't. Ghost Rider wasn't really that. I've got to be nice about Marvel movies, because I named myself after a Stan Lee character named Luke Cage. So there you go, this is kind of being nice. But what am I going to do? Put Marvel movies down? Stan Lee is my surrealistic father. He named me, he said, when asked about the state of superhero movies today. I understand what the frustration is. I get it. But I think there's plenty of room for everybody. I'm seeing movies like Tar. I'm seeing all kinds of artistic and independently driven movies. I think there's plenty of room for everybody. So he, he's really diplomatic. The, the headline, again, you know, it, it, it is what he said. But it's almost taken out of context, but it's not. There's just further context to it to frame him a little bit nicer. Uh, so would he want to be in the MCU? And he's really, literally, do you want to be in the MCU? He goes, I don't need to be in the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all like, look, you know, there's room for everybody. I watch all movies. It's all good. Do you want to be in the MCU? No, I don't want to be in the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. <laughs> What a legend! What an absolute legend! <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, in the 90s, he was going to be in uh, Superman Lives. So this is interesting. Um, but he says apparently he's not ever 100% sure why it never came to light. So I thought that we'd just tack this on because this is interesting. Obviously, the main snippet is the hilarious thing of, I don't need to be in the MCU, I'm Nick Cage. Um, but I thought this is interesting as well. Uh, they wanted Rennie Harlan to do the movie. I sat down with Rennie. I was doing another picture. He came to the trailer and we talked. I liked Rennie. But I thought, if I'm going to do this, it's such a bullseye to hit. I said, this has to be Tim Burton. I called Tim and said, would you do this? Tim didn't cast me. I cast Tim. And Tim's... 
So he follows up. I don't need to be in the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. He's like, Tim Burton didn't cast me. I cast Tim. What are you talking? I cast Tim. <laughs> oh, i got to love Nick Cage. You've got to love him. You've got to love it. Honestly, he's so good. Oh, what an absolute legend. What an absolute legend of film. So, you can't, you honestly, you can't beat it. So good. Um, and so Tim said yes. I loved what he did with Michael Keaton and Batman. I was a big fan. And he continued. He says, I love Mars Attacks. I thought Mars Attacks was just a fantastic, groundbreaking movie. He's so nice about everything. He's a groundbreaker. But they were scared at the studio because of Mars Attacks. Warner Brothers had lost a lot of money on the movie. These movies that are really weird, that challenge and break ground, they piss a lot of people off. I think they got cold feet. They'd spent a lot of money already building the sets and the costumes and what have you, but you never know. I don't mean to be cryptic, Cage, but you never know. Oh, God, he's such a legend. Um, apparently, the, he really enjoyed the character that they were building. And he said, it was more of a 1980s Superman with, like, the samurai, black, long hair. I thought it was going to be a really different sort of emo Superman. But we never got there. Oh, God. I love it. Absolutely love it. What, what a legend. Um, but he also says how he likes uh, horror films. He says, uh, I really like horror. Some of the most talented artis artistic people now are making horror films. That's because they can take risks. I think you can do so much. The reason why science fiction and horror is so important to me is that it gave a format where I could express some of my more surrealistic and abstract dreams with film performance. God, he's such a nice guy. <laughs> um, and yeah, he added that science fiction uh, also provides a way to say anything you want. Everybody's very sensitive right now. If you look at the science fi uh, fiction format, you put it on a different planet, you put it in the future, what have you. You can pretty much say what you want because it's not right now. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean that. It was on a planet called Exeter or something. <laughs> That's where it happened. I didn't mean that. You can get your freedom speech mojo on and do what you want. God, I fucking love Nick Cage. Ah, God, Nick Cage. Bless him. What a legend. I don't need the MCU. I'm Nick Cage. No, Tim Burton didn't cast me. I cast Tim. Anyway, hit subscribe, give the video a like, and definitely share this.